Insurance is a big concern for all of us. We'd like to give you an overview of the insurance plans available to you as OCPS employees and explain the differences in the plans. We won't overload you with all the details here. You can find those in your insurance handbook. The first thing to consider is which medical plan is right for you. There are three medical plans to choose from. Two in-network plans, Plan A, Cigna Local Plus OAP in-network plan, and Plan C, Cigna OAP in-network plan, and one health reimbursement account, HRA, with an in-network and out-of-network benefit, Plan B, Cigna Health Reimbursement Account. Please see the rate sheet on the insurance website for bi-weekly and monthly deductions of all plans. In Plan A, the Cigna Local Plus OAP in-network plan, there are lower out-of-pocket costs, but you must choose doctors in the Local Plus network. This is a smaller network of doctors and it is more restrictive than any of the other plans. There are no costs per pay period for full-time employees, but you pay a $250 individual or $500 family deductible before your benefits begin. Pharmacy costs may be higher in this plan. In Plan B, the Cigna Health Reimbursement Account, you have lots of choices, but will probably have higher out-of-pocket costs. You can go to any doctor, but choosing doctors in the network will save you money. This plan has a $2,000 in-network, $3,000 out-of-network, employee-only deductible before coinsurance begins. The district funds $250 to be used for deductibles, co-pays, and coinsurance. Your in-network primary care physician and specialist visits are provided outside of your deductible. That is, you don't have to meet your deductible first. You simply pay your copay amount. Many services also require a 20% coinsurance. In Plan C, the Cigna OAP in-network plan, there are lower out-of-pocket costs, but you must choose doctors in the network. You pay a small amount each pay period, and there is a $100 individual or $200 family deductible. Your in-network primary care physician and specialist visits are provided outside of your deductible. That is, you don't have to meet your deductible first. You simply pay your copay amount. For all plans, routine preventive care, including preventive screening, is covered at 100%. All three Cigna plans include an in-network hearing aid benefit. This benefit requires the use of a specific network and there are quantity and cost limitations. In addition, deductibles, coinsurance, and co-pays will apply. For a full review, please refer to the medical section of the Insurance Benefits Handbook. It is recommended that you choose a primary care physician. Your PCP or personal physician is your source for routine care and guidance if you need to see a specialist or require hospitalization. In either plan A or C, if you see a provider who is not in the Cigna Healthcare Network, your plan does not cover those services except in emergencies. With all plans, you can choose doctors and hospitals in the Orlando Health Network and the Florida Hospital Network. Visits to the emergency room are very expensive. Unless it's a life-threatening emergency, you're always better off seeing your own physician or going to an urgent care center for treatment. You'll spend less time waiting and it won't cost you as much. And here's some good advice. You'll want to choose a physician as soon as possible. New patients don't get in as quickly as established patients. How much do I have to pay for medical coverage? If you are a full-time employee, OCPS pays your single medical plan coverage. In Plan A, Cigna Local Plus OAP in-network. Plan B, Cigna Health Reimbursement Account. And Plan C, Cigna OAP in-network require that employees pay a small portion of their coverage. 
If you are a part-time employee, working between 17.5 hours and 24.9 hours per week, you are responsible for part of the monthly cost. Refer to your rate sheet for the exact amount. Another important OCPS benefit is for prescription drugs. Let's take a look. Prescription drug benefits differ between the plans, so checking out the differences between the plans is important if you use prescription medications. There are three co-payment tiers that all prescriptions fall into. You can check out insurance.ocps.net and select enrollment information to find out which drugs fall into which categories. I've heard you can save money by getting prescriptions by mail. How does that work? If you take medicine regularly, for diabetes or high blood pressure, for instance, that's considered a maintenance drug. After the third fill, maintenance drugs must be ordered by mail through CVS Caremark Mail Service Pharmacy, a CVS retail store, or for 90 days at a time from a participating retail pharmacy. By mail or CVS retail, you'll get a three-month supply for the cost of two months. We also have services available to help with behavioral health and chemical dependency. Orlando Behavioral Healthcare covers us for all plans. To access your benefits, call Orlando Behavioral Healthcare directly. My husband has medical insurance through his company for our whole family. Can I get something else paid for instead? Absolutely. In that case, you can choose the disability vision plan. How long do I have to wait for the coverage to start? From the day you start work, there is a 59-day waiting period. Your coverage begins the first day of the next month. Check the effective date sheet in your insurance materials to find the exact date. I have diabetes. I know it's considered a pre-existing condition. How does it affect my coverage? The Affordable Care Act has eliminated the pre-existing condition exclusion from medical plans. Your condition is covered as soon as your coverage starts. Who else in my family is eligible to be covered under my medical insurance and what does it cost? Additional coverage for your spouse, same-sex domestic partner and children are available options. Medical insurance costs the same for one child or many children. Eligibility requirements can be found in the insurance handbook available on the intranet. Please note, under IRS regulations, domestic partners and the children of domestic partners do not qualify as tax dependents. As a result, the premiums for any plans with a domestic partner or children of a domestic partner will be deducted post-tax and the medical premiums made by OCPS on behalf of dependents will be treated as taxable income. Examples of the impact of this imputed income can be found on the Insurance Benefits Internet site. Employees should consult the tax advisor prior to adding coverage.